Hi guys, happy new year. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what products I use to get your nails like this. So we're going to start off with the nail polish remover. This one is a strengthening one. You can get this one from Walgreens. You're also going to need a buffing system. So it has one to clean, to condition, and to shine. Now I'm also going to show you a nail filer. Just normal. You don't need a buffing system. It's optional. I'm showing you guys now a cuticle pusher. It has a pointer and a flat end to help you push back your cuticles. I am also showing you now the Tweezerman cuticle cutter. This one is excellent. It is sharp. It helps you cut your cuticles perfectly to the team. Now you also want a cream. I suggest using the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bubble Cream. It is a body cream, but it's super smooth and hydrates your skin. So I really recommend that one. Now for today, I am using the Essie Nail Polish in Skinny Dip. Up a skinny dip, I'm going to go ahead and be using the Color Stay Gel Envy from Revlon in 105 Bet on Love. And to go ahead and just set my nails with a top coat, I'm using the SC Top Coat in 00. This one is so amazing. I highly recommend that it sets your nails like it is gel polish, but it is not. Now I'm going to go ahead and start off by just cutting the cuticles off my nails. You want to go ahead and be careful with this because you can nip yourself and you, know, you don't want to have any bacteria or anything like that. And as you can see, I go ahead and just push back my cuticles while I'm cutting them. I go and do this nail by nail. And then I just continue to go ahead and do this process by cutting, pushing back the cuticle, and so on and so forth. Once I am done, I go ahead and use my buffing system. This one is from Face Value. It is so inexpensive. I go ahead and show you that you can also just use a filer. It is optional to go ahead and buff your nails, but I do feel like you just have a better base for your nails when you're going ahead and painting them because they are smoother but here i am just filing my nails and here go ahead and just do the first step which is the cleaning method so it just removes any bumps or ridges that you may have on your nails so i really like this system now is the conditioning part and it just helps your nails just be well nourished underneath your nail polish it's very helpful especially if you want your nails to stay intact and not break now we're going to go ahead into the shine which is the last process it just helps just have your nails a shiny coat before you polish them and i'm also going to go ahead and put on some cream like i said i do like the sol de janeiro one it smells so good and it keeps your hands nice and moisturized but before you go ahead and paint them you do want to go ahead and remove the layer of cream off your nail base so that way the polish sticks and here i am just painting my nails with skinny dip i go ahead and keep my nails on my thumbs not painted until the very end because i feel like my thumbs do help me go ahead and remove any excess polish from my sides of my nails if i do feel like i end up just messing up on the sides it is easier for me to just use my thumbs it is you know different for everybody i know some people can go ahead and just use a wooden stick with um, cotton at the end of the wooden stick but for me I don't feel like that works for me I feel like I end up getting the cotton in my nail polish and I feel it starts to get messy and clumpy so I don't really like that method for myself so now as you can see I am going ahead and just doing three coats of the skinny dip SC nail polish the reason why I do three coats and not just one is because this color tends to be more on the lighter side so it's not as opaque as other colors so it is almost like if it was see-through but not so i do like it to be opaque enough where you can tell that it is a light pink nail polish but not too opaque where it is too clumpy and where it becomes too thick so that is what i'm doing for this and i'm going to go ahead and just finish doing the three coats and then i'm going to go show you guys how i put on the revlon sparkly pink coat that is bet on love and also to let you guys know the sc nail polish and skinny dip you can go ahead and pick it up on ulta and it is nine dollars So this is how the three quotes look done on the nails and now I'm going to go ahead and just do the Revlon quotes. I'm just going to go ahead and just do one quote of this. It is the Bet on Love shade again and it is just a light sparkly pink color as I've mentioned. 
you can go ahead and pick up this shade at Walgreens. They have it there for $4.59. It is relatively cheap there in comparison to Walmart, which has it at $6.50. So I definitely recommend you buying it at Walgreens if you are not interested. I will also go ahead and link it down below in the description box if you want to go ahead and pick it up, as well as the SE Skinny Dip in the description box if you want to go ahead and pick up these beautiful light pink shades. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the SC Gel Couture Top Coat. This is one of the best top coats I've ever used. I've been using this top coat for about 4 years now. It completely changed my nail polish game. It literally sets in about 60 seconds so you can go ahead and do your nails and be out the door. It gives your nails the appearance that it is gel polish but it is not it's just regular polish that has gel shine to it you can go ahead and pick up this polish at ulta.com or ulta in person in the stores and it is only $11.50 and it literally lasts you a long time so it is definitely recommended by me and I go ahead and put all my family and friends on you definitely need this nail polish for sure so now as you can tell I am doing my thumbs like I mentioned I do like to go ahead and leave them last because they do help me with my nail polishing process and if I do end up having any messes they do help me clean them up so I do have a strategic way of doing this I do like to go ahead and do my right thumb first and that is because I am a righty so if I do have any mess ups with my left hand that is polishing my right thumb I can go ahead and just clean it up with my left thumb now I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Revlon Bet on Love nail polish and I am using just one coat of that just to give it a sparkly shine to my nails and once you're done with that, you're just going to go ahead and top it all off with the Essie Gel Couture Nail Polish and then you'll be done. And that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to say a huge thank you to my lovely subscriber who suggested that I go ahead and show you guys my afternoon manicure. Because like I mentioned in my past video, I do like to go ahead and do this as my stress reliever. Thank you once again and make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Besitos!